Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to try something, I've made this before, but I've never made it this way before, so I'm not for sure if it's going to turn out, so just like me, you guys are all my guinea pigs, so I'll bring you down here. What I'm going to be making is some cornflake chicken, okay, but our local store had these really nice small asparaguses on sale for a dollar. Let me just put this in the sink temporarily. I have to take it out to the thing when I get done. And we do not like we do not like the big pieces of asparagus. We prefer the smaller pieces. So when I saw this, I'm like, yes, please. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in a few different places if that one will ever cut. Alright. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to throw this in the bottom of my Ninja Speedy. This is why I say I've never done it before this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the asparagus that's been washed and cut in the bottom. All right. Now, I never liked asparagus because my mom would always boil stuff and it just didn't have the flavor. It just wasn't, to me, I don't think it was very good. So I'm going to throw in a couple patter, pat, packs of butter. And then my co-worker one day, she goes, oh, you need to eat it the way I do. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I might not still like it. And we tried it, and this is the only way we eat it from now on. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the refrigerated garlic. Because I never understood why my mom loved asparagus so much. I'm like, that stuff is just nasty. But... When it's boiled and you're not putting, you know, butter or, you know, anything in there for a flavoring, I just don't think it's as good as it probably could be. Then what I have is a small onion, and it depends on how much you like onions. All right. Get a little thing here and give that a little bit of a stir. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to be making cornflake chicken up on top. Sorry about that. A phone call just came in and I just blocked it. Tell Chris I'll be there. My sister wanted to know if I was going to be there at her live. <laughs> so my husband's going to respond back to her. A little bit of um, onion powder and a little bit of pepper. And then I'm just going to toss this over here to the side. I'll get this all cleaned up here. And then with the Ninja Speedy, what you have is you have this tray here. And usually I would put the meat on the bottom and I'd put the other stuff at the top. However, I need to have the butter and everything to go in here, so I had to do it backwards. So there goes that in there like that. Now, I don't know for sure if you've ever made cornflake chicken. And I absolutely love cornflake chicken. So I'm taking one of my heavier duty cups and I am kind of like, you're not going to squish it all the way, but you know what I'm saying? You're going to break up the cornflakes so it easily sticks to the chicken. I should have got a bigger plate. Let me do that because I'm just making one heck of a mess. That will be better. Look at that. Thankfully, I keep my countertop super clean. All right. Now, I do put some spices in here, and I forgot, of course, and I put my spices behind me. But I do add some paprika to this, and then some salt, pepper, and garlic, which I have to grab the garlic. Which I'll do here in just a second. So I can get my husband to get the garlic for me here. Sir. 
so nice when I get kitchen, kitchen help. So I'm going to go ahead and push this kind of like back off the side. Mix in the cornflakes. All right. So everything should have a nice bit of stuff on there. Wash my patties again. Now, this chicken breast was quite big. And it was very thick, so my husband and I are just sharing it. So I cut it in half. And I have my mixed butter. And what I'm going to be doing is getting the piece of chicken all wet. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the cornflakes on there on both sides. Now I don't know for sure if you guys have ever had cornflake chicken. If you not, if you have not, I highly recommend it. Cornflakes are very cheap, so this makes us pretty pretty cheap to make, except for the butter, obviously. And do the same with this piece. And I'm making still a big mess with my cornflakes everywhere. Seems like all my spices went to one spot. And then, because I didn't think ahead, I had those frozen mashed potatoes I was going to make. But because I didn't get them out, we're not going to have those. So, I am going to push on pause for just a second. I'm going to wash my hands. Alright, and now what I'm going to do, because you guys know I try to cook this stuff slower and, you know, um, longer time on slower temp. And it seems to work out fine. So what I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to is the steam and crisp. I'm going to bring this down to like 330 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Now nothing happens at first, obviously, with this. Eventually steam will be coming out of here and then, then the countdown will actually start. I don't think this is going to take 20 minutes. This is something I'm going to have to keep checking on. Um, but I'll keep on checking on this and I'll bring it back at each time. And this is a little over two minutes into the 20 minutes, but I don't know for sure if you can see the steam coming from that. So that's what's helping keep the chicken and stuff moist while it's actually browning the chicken in the top. So um, it, came, it came up really quick, I'd probably say with about three or four minutes, and then the steam started, so that's a good thing. And I'll bring you back. Okay, friends, that is like two minutes to before it's done. Look at that, how crunchy that's looking. I am going to get out my temperature thing and see what that's looking like for temperature wise. The house smells absolutely amazing. And yes, both is done. I'm going to let that go just for a little bit more just to crisp up that just a smidge. I'll let that other two minutes go, and I'll be right back. While we're waiting for the last two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and make some instant potatoes because I didn't plan ahead. Get this in here. See if that's looking like. I probably need a little bit more. Um, when these pearls are done, I think this is about the end of my pearls, which I can't remember. I think it is. Um... I like the pearls, but I don't like the pearls because if it cools down at all, the pearls just stay lumpy. And I, it's not that I don't like lumpy um, potatoes, I just don't like lumpy potatoes. Let me put a little bit more hot water in here. No, you put my milk away. My husband must have thought he left the milk out or something. All right, so there's just a little bit of milk here. And then, friends, um, I don't know for sure if you watched the video on it or not, but I did make my own homemade sour, um, cream. sour cream. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some of that homemade sour cream. Wow, look how nice and thick that got on. Nice. See that, guys? Oh. That's good. You probably put that in the way now. All right. 
great. And that's looking like it's all, I'm going to keep a mix on that. And we got like 11 seconds left on the meal. And we're just going to go ahead and throw some butter on these potatoes. Which, I don't know what to do with my... See, I had butter out here earlier. And this, friends, look at that chicken. I mean, look at that chicken. And my husband, I think, is going to help me because he's out here. I have, I mean, I love this Speedy, but the one thing I do not like about this Speedy, um, you could put one on each one. I'll get you another plate. Um, the one thing I, don't, thing I don't like about the Speedy is that they do not have, and we'll show you, he'll lift up the little thing there. Um, there's, can you see what he's grabbing onto? It's just got just like a little bit of a lip. And it's, it doesn't really give you that much room to um, lift that up without making a big mess. Oh, I could have probably had a little bit more butter down there. All right, I don't know if you can see. Let me kind of, can you see that in there? I must put the, the stand actually in the... On both plates here. Which one you want? We'll take that one. It's right there. Well, I just usually give you more potatoes. <laughs> so, go ahead and throw the butter on here. And this, my friend, this is a very, very short video. But this is uh, cornflake chicken with some asparagus and some instant mashed potatoes. So thank you very, very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.